Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to install custom origins for the Origins mod on your server. There are timestamps in the description if you wish to jump to a specific section. In order to download custom origins, you're firstly required to have the origins mod downloaded and all of its dependencies. We've actually made a tutorial on how to do that, so if you're interested, we'll leave the link in the description. However, to download custom origin data packs, you'll also require a few mods to make sure the textures and game features don't glitch out. The first mod you'll need is Optifine, so you should head over to this page. As always, all the links in this video will be in the description. Click on the Downloads tab at the top and then Show All Versions. From here, make sure to look for the same version as the previous files you've downloaded to ensure no complications. Since in the previous video I downloaded the files for 1.18, I'll be clicking Download on the 1.18 Download button. After, you just have to wait a couple seconds until it says Skip and click Download once more for your file to be downloaded. Since Optifine is a Forge only mod at the moment, the next mod you'll need to download is Optifabric. This mod will allow you to run Optifine on Fabric. Once you're on the download page, scroll down until you see this column with versions on the right and click on the version you want to download. Once again, make sure this version is the same one as all your other files. However, if your version isn't there, you can simply go back and click on the Files tab. There you'll be able to browse through all the versions available for download. Finally, the last file you need is the Pakui mod. When you're on the download page, you can download the file by scrolling to the column on the right or by heading to the Files tab. Make sure you click download on the same version as the previous mods and wait for your file to download. Once that's done, you want to drag all the mod files you just downloaded to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next step. Now that the mod files are all downloaded, you'll have to make sure they're in your mods folder. To open up your mods folder, you're going to have to press the Windows key and the R key at the same time on your keyboard. When this window has popped up, type in percentage app data percentage and hit enter. When this files explorer tab pops up, click on your .minecraft folder and then on the mods folder. Once you're in, simply drag the files you downloaded previously into it. Remember that the origins mod and the fabric APA file should also be in here. Once again, if you don't have those downloaded, click the link to the tutorial in the description. You can then close this window. To make sure the mods are working, open up your Minecraft launcher. Make sure that the fabric loader we installed in the tutorial video is still selected and click play. Once your game is launched, if it says fabric modded at the bottom left, then you follow these steps correctly. Now that the files are in your computer's mod folder, you'll also have to make sure they're in your server's mod folder. You can do that by heading to the server.pro website. There you'll need to have a VPS server since origins and all its dependencies are fabric files. We've made a video on how to get a VPS server, so if you don't have one, we'll leave the link to that in the description. However, if you already own one, simply head to its control panel. Then you want to click on the create a service tab for this panel to appear. At the top here, you want to make sure Minecraft Java Edition is selected and that the type is set to Fabric. Once more, make sure that the version selected is the same version as the files you downloaded. If you're using 1.18 though, remember to select Java 17 as the Java version. When you're happy with everything, click Install and your service should be created. You then want to switch over to that service and open up its Files tab on the left. There you'll see a mods folder, but if for some reason it doesn't appear for you, it may be because the service isn't fully booted up yet, so just wait a couple seconds. All you need to do next is open up the mods folder and drag the three files you downloaded into it. There should also be the fabric API and origins files in there. As we mentioned previously, if you don't have those, make sure to check out our video to find out how to download them. Afterwards, quickly restart the service to ensure the mods load correctly. Now that you're all set up, you want to find an Origins data pack you wish to download. You can simply Google Origins mod data packs to find a ton of fanmade Origins up for download, or you can head to this page. The link to this will also be in the description. From there, you can scroll through several pages of custom Origins up for download. I'll be clicking on the Medic Origin. You can then scroll down and press the Download Data Pack button. 
Wait a couple seconds for your zip to be downloaded and once it is, you want to drag it to your desktop. There you should extract the zip to get the data pack folder as that's what we're going to be using in the next step. To upload the data pack onto your server, you should firstly head to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. Go back into the service panel that you previously created and then into the files tab. Here you should look for the world folder and open it up. You should see a folder named data packs and double click it. That is where you're going to drag your data pack folder, waiting a couple seconds for it to upload. If you downloaded more than one data pack, make sure to also drag those files in. When they're uploaded, quickly restart the server to ensure that the data packs load in properly. And that's it, you have custom origins on your server. To double check everything is working as intended, head to the server's main dashboard and copy the host name. Then you want to open up your Minecraft game, head to the multiplayer section and add server. On the server address section, paste the host name and you should now be able to join your server. When you double click on it, it should come up with a screen saying, choose your origin. If you click the arrow, you'll then be able to see the custom origins you downloaded. Select the one you want and now you're able to play as a new origin. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.